With our WinForms Dashboard Designer, you can bind query parameters to dashboard parameters using expressions. This allows you to change a SQL query pass to the database server dynamically. In this video, we'll take a look at how to do this. I already have a dashboard that's connected to a database containing orders data. To take a look at the SQL query, go to the Data Source tab and click on Edit in the Query group. The query selects all columns from the orders table. Let's create a parameter that provides end users with the capability to reload data according to order specific order dates. Go to the Home tab and click Parameters. Here, click Add. Then specify a name and description. Next, set the lookup setting as static list and enter parameter values each year per line. Click OK and set 2017 as a default parameter value. All right, now let's filter the SQL query. Go to the Data Source tab and click Edit again. Run the Query Builder and click the Filter button. I'll add a new condition where the order date is between the start date and end date. Click the button here twice to select a parameter. Click the placeholder and select Add Query Parameter. Here, specify the parameter name as start date and click OK. Do the same thing for the end date parameter. Click OK and you'll see that the Query Builder added the WHERE clause that matches our specified filter criteria. Click OK to close the Query Builder. Then click Next in the Query Editor. On the next page, enable the Expression checkbox for the Start Date parameter and select the Expression Editor from the dropdown. In the Expression Editor, remove the constant date time value and select Parameters. Then double click the created parameter and add the month slash day date part to the expression. In this video, I'll choose January 1st. Click OK and do the same thing for the end date parameter. This time using December 31st. Click OK and then click the Preview button to check our data. Go to the Order Date column and make sure that it only contains values from 2017, which was specified earlier as a default parameter value. Close the Preview window and click Finish. You can see that the dashboard now only displays data for 2017. To change a parameter value, click the Parameters button in the Dashboard title, select Another Year, and click Submit to reload the data. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our dashboards, make sure to check out the documentation on our website or watch any of the videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel to receive all of our latest content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.